In this video, we're going to solve a particular problem which appear in the year 2017 JE advanced paper. So here we need to find out right the right limit and left limit at the point x equal to 1 and we have to check is it 0 or exist right that's the problem. So first we have to analyze the function or basically we need to calculate in other way right limit and left limit at x equal to 1. Let's go ahead and try to find out the left and right limit. So first we consider the function and let's try to find out the left limit at x equal to 1. So limit x tends to 1 minus fx will be definitely equal to limit x tends to 0, 1 minus h. So therefore, how we calculate the next line? So wherever we see x, we have to replace it by 1 minus h. Let's do that. So this step we have to do very cautiously because here the expansion is not that straightforward. Now notice carefully, right? We have have two mod function and h is there. So therefore, if I simplify, we get it as cos 1 by h mod h, mod h here, 1 minus h is the multiplier and 1 plus mod h. Now here see that when we find that left limit and right limit, it is obvious that h is greater than 0. So therefore, mod h will be equal to h only, right? So therefore, we replace by wherever we see mod h, we replace by h because h is greater than 0. Now we can notice that this will be multiplier. So 1 minus 1 plus h h 1 minus h so it can be easily calculated as 1 minus h squared so it will be limit h tends to 0 h into cos 1 by h. Now see that we need to find out this particular values. Now notice carefully if h tends to 0 right we can see that when h tends to 0 h will be definitely equal to 0 but what about that limit h tends to 0 cos 1 by h? Limit h tends to 0 cos 1 by h is actually oscillates between minus 1 to plus 1. This is a very standard concept. Now, why it is uh, uh, oscillates between minus 1 to plus 1? Because whatever the value h will supply, right, it will be 1 by h. And cos x is a uh, function whose value is lies between minus 1 to 1, right? So if h became smaller and smaller, right, or whatever may be, right, basically the argument of x, right, our argument of cos function is actually reduced, right? So therefore, the amplitude and the uh, amplitude of cos and that uh, how many times it will take that zero crossing, that will change, right? That is called amplitude and argument based on that, right? So therefore, it will be oscillating between that. So therefore, it will be an oscillating thing so that we can say that this doesn't exist directly but as zero is multiplier right so zero act as a multiplier here so therefore it will be zero multiplied by something okay so zero multiplied by whatever the oscillating value i don't care but that gives us a zero value so in this case this limit will exist and this value will be zero so therefore the lip limit will exist and that particular value is equal to zero and that's why option a is definitely be the correct option now we need to test for the right limit as well let's go ahead so now to find the right limit, we have to use the definition 1 plus fx. It will be f of 1 plus h limit h tends to 0. Let's substitute whenever we see x, we replace by 1 plus h and let's do some simplification. So therefore, it will be equal to 1 plus h multiplied by h tends to 0 and all the stuff and cos of 1 by h. Okay, that's it. Now let's try to understand that particular limit, right? Now here we notice that here cos of minus h here h is greater than 0 right now here as h is greater than 0 so therefore right uh, cos of minus 1 by h we know that cos of minus x right cos of uh, minus x is equal to cos x so therefore this minus sign can be omitted and mod of minus h mod function of minus h will be definitely equal to minus h right why because see that here h is greater than 0 now as h is greater than 0 minus h is less than 0 right so therefore Therefore, therefore, that whatever the definition of minus mod of h is equal to minus of minus h, which is equal to h. But this analysis is not required here because we can say that that's what mod function. The sign is meaningless. So therefore, it will be replaced by it will be replaced by one minus one plus h into one plus h divided by h. So therefore, we can uh, expand the denominator uh, numerator.
greater, it will be 1 plus h square plus 2 is divided by h. 1, 1 get cancelled. So, therefore, it will be minus h minus 2 into cos 1 plus h. If I multiply that to different limit, it will be limit h tends to 0 h plus 2 into limit h tends to 0 1 plus h. But in this case, we can see that the first limit, limit h tends to 0 h plus 2 is equal to 2 because that's the standard very easy obvious, right? But for the second case, as we discussed earlier, it will be oscillating sequence. So, therefore, it will be 2 multiply a oscillating value, right? So, therefore, it is again oscillating. So, therefore, we can say that the particular value is actually limit h, ten, h plus 2 into a cos 1 plus h is actually an oscillating between minus or minus 2 to plus 2. So, therefore, the limit doesn't exist. So, therefore, we conclude that that right limit doesn't exist. So, therefore, option D is the correct option. So, therefore, for this particular problem, option A and option D is correct and that's it. So, it's a very simple form if I try to convert it in that H form and also we can and if I understand the concept of this limit h tends to 0 cos 1 by h if it oscillates. So, if we understand the concept, our job is done. That's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.